Paul Burry, family from the gaming, the judge. Courts in session. This is FG Politics on Stephen Crowder versus the Daily Wire. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? You may have heard. There was a little bit of a snafu, a kerfunkle, um, unhappy feelings between some people. They were doing negotiations. So if you haven't seen, um, I have watched uh, some of the Daily Wire videos on YouTube and I have watched some of the uh, Stephen Crowder live streams on Rumble, also on YouTube. Um, he has the Louder with Crowder. He also did the Change My Mind segment where he goes to a college campus, comes up with a hot button topic and uh, has people come and try to change his mind. For example, he did one about um, there are only two genders and then he had people try to try to change his mind on that. He also, people are like, he never changes his mind. Well, actually, he did. He changed his mind and he had a video about it on the Tesla. He didn't think that uh, elect electric vehicles could get up and go and move. And then he got a Tesla and he drove it and he was like, wow, this thing is awesome. He didn't actually use that, but that's mine. So, they, uh, he had been signed with the, the Blaze, Blaze TV, if you're not familiar with that. He is a conservative, um, you say comedian, talk show host. And the Blaze was ending his contract, or his contract was ending, they were not going to renew him, type of deal. So, he obviously had money coming in from the Blaze, and had Blaze stuff going there. However, he's also got Mug Club. And he has uh, plenty of people paying him money. He, from what I've been told, he's making millions of dollars every year. Now, Daily Wire offered him a contract. Did not put an NDA on there. NDA is a non-disclose. So you can't disclose it publicly. They didn't do that. In fact, he also released some audio of a uh, conversation he had with them in negotiations. So... They offered him $50 million over four years. And then I think they could renew two years after that for, I think it was like, was it $25 million a year or something like that? I'm not sure of that exact stat, but they were, there was a two-year um, option to renew. Now, here's where things get kind of interesting. <clears throat> the contracts had stuff in there where there was um, decentives. You're probably familiar with incentives. So an incentive would be like, say with a, a football player, if they're a quarterback and they throw, I don't know, 25 touchdown passes in a season, they'll get like an extra million dollars. Like you get an incentive in your contract. What what the Daily Wire did with their contract with uh, Steven Crowder is they gave him decentives, okay? So if he got... Uh, demonetized if he got uh was it copyright strikes or you know different strikes with like say like youtube it was like youtube um was like instagram and someone else if he got these they were going to take so much money from him so all these people are like he turned down 50 million dollars well he wasn't ever going to get 50 million dollars because if you know his history he has gotten himself in trouble with YouTube. In fact, he's not even monetized on YouTube. Okay. I, I assume he's monetized on Rumble, but I don't know. In fact, when I heard he also has over a million subscribers on Rumble. So, and they make money um, on the, uh, on their mug club. They have a website where people buy coffee cups and shirts and, and different stuff from him. So, and he's also got a paid subscription service through Mug Club. So they'll, they'll do so much free on, um, on like YouTube uh, and or Rumble. And then they'll do uh, so much more behind the pay gate uh, uh, on the Mug Club website. So that's what he's currently doing. They, uh, they were going to take money away. And so knowing this history, he would probably get, Copyright strikes. He would probably get um, suspended. He's been suspended from YouTube before. And 
done lawsuits against them. Uh, he's he's said jokes that that uh, the woke uh, supremacists have been offended by and attacked him for it and tried to get you know destroy him. It, also, if he was boycotted, now <laughs> that to me is really messed up because the people on the political left who don't like people on the political right boycott them as often as possible, and so it's like well. He's these things are going to happen to him, so he's going to lose this money, this fifty million over four years, and who knows how much he would wind up um, earning over that time. Now, he wanted a report I read was that he wanted thirty million dollars a year, and he didn't want any of the the decentives. And he referenced well. The guy from Daily Wire referenced that people, when they start out there, have to be wage slaves. And so when he, when he, uh, when Stephen Crowder went out there and said something about being a wage slave, this like just offended so many people. Like, oh, fifty million dollars is a wage slave. Oh, you know, it's kind of like um, when Mike Tyson, I think he got thirty million dollars for a fight, and and uh, people said something about it. He's like, well, I got children to feed for thirty million dollars, really. What are, you, what are you feeding them? Rare whale that someone goes out and swims in the ocean and catches? I mean, like, <laughs> how much money do you, do you need there? So, so I get the people um, kind of going off on that, but I think they're missing the point about the decentives, and it's more about uh, the contract structure. Now, uh, Daily Wire was not happy. They were, they were really un, un, unhappy about him releasing the information. Like I said, they didn't do an NDA, so, you know, it's kind of on them. They should have done that. But they said, well, this is our standard contract. If you're a standard contract, why are you mad that people are releasing it? Like, shouldn't you be like, well, okay, you want to you release that. Um, it, it does bring up a lot of different points and different, different concepts to discuss. And, and first and foremost is... Why are they so offended that their contract's out there? One, two, why are they treating people this way? You know, why not do incentives in the contract? So so pay less money, but there'll be stuff like, I don't know, if you if you go six months and increase viewership by a certain percentage, we'll give you an extra amount of money. You know, why not why not do things like that? I mean, I don't understand why there's this this connection between uh, what happens on the big tech websites with them. Now, now Stephen Crowder's called them like the big con, um, and I understand corporations do this. I've I've had to sign NDAs with different companies for stuff, and a lot of times at this point, I'm just like, I, I don't want to deal with you. You know, just just forget it. I'm not I'm not messing with you. Uh, you know, you want me to sit there and sign this to go see. Uh, your game for you know a, a month early or a week early or one of them was a like here sign this NDA and we'll let you see this a day early, you know I can wait a day I got plenty of things to do I don't need to to see your your stuff I, I can wait till I can get a copy of it I, I don't have to sit there and jump through your hoops and play your games and I think I think it's Stephen Crowder is kind of that way as well it's like I don't have to play your games I can do what I want I have lots of money coming in I don't you know need to need your money. And then be constrained by your rules. Um, the the I can I can see why you can have people who are just looking at the surface and not actually digging into this issue. You know, uh, the, like the drive-by media freaking out and being like, "He said fifty million dollars was a wage slave." Well, he was also talking about other people. Now, supposedly, Stephen Crowder is going to be doing something to help out smaller. Uh, conservatives and give them a better deal, a better shake than what he was being offered. We'll see what happens with that. The other thing was he was going to have to bring all of his members on the uh, the Mug Club over to Daily Wire and give them all of his people. And that to me is like, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. You want all of his people and you want them to be, you know, now pay you instead? I'm not sure the money they're offering is worth that. I mean, I don't like I said I don't know the exact numbers of what he's receiving, but I do know that seems a little suspicious. I wouldn't want to do that. You know, he has 
he has built that himself, you know, and then just to give it away to someone. Uh, like I said, that doesn't seem kosher to me at all. Um, the other, the other uh, concept in here is in order to avoid getting strikes and suspensions from big tech, then you have to only say what they will let you say. And, you know, there's kind of some of these unwritten rules, like certain things can't be said and you, you can't talk about certain topics. Um, you can't say certain jokes. So then you're really having to censor yourself. And I think that probably bothered Steven Crowder more than anything else is that they wanted him to censor himself. And, and if he didn't, they were just going to take a bunch of money from him. You know, and that's what they were going to do. They were going to take the money from him. You know, money they had promised. They're like, ah, we're going to start taking it. And then claim that, well, it's because we can't make money off of you. Although I don't really understand why they can't still make money off of him because they could make money off of him on Rumble and Odyssey and BitChute. You know, you could make money other places uh, still on their, on their Daily Wire website. So it's kind of confusing. It's like, well, we can't get the... The YouTube revenue from you. Well, okay. Was that really going to amount to, you know, is that going to amount to the amount you're paying him? And, and if it's like, well, we're going to pay you less because YouTube's paying us less, then, you know, why does he need you? You see my point? Like, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing I look at. Any kind of partnership. Both sides got to get something out of it. You know, what What was Steven Crowder going to get out of it? He gives them all of his people, so now he loses all of his subscribers, right? It, all of his subscribers go to them. What, what, what are they giving him besides some money, you know? And then every little way they can find to take from him, they're like, well, we'll, we'll take some money here, we'll take some money here, 20% here, 25% there, 30% here, like how does that, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I think he made a good call because he'll probably be better without them. Plus he's got all this publicity, right? So there's all these people talking about what's going on. There's people taking sides and people discussing it. Um, I personally have watched him. I haven't watched him in, in, in a while recently. I have watched Ben Shapiro, but I kind of got tired of Ben Shapiro. Uh, ben Shapiro is like the big one behind Daily Wire. And I've never really watched the Daily Wire. Um, I've done a little analysis and research and found that there are some complaints against Daily Wire. that, And I found this interesting that Steven Crowder would say something and get his video blocked on YouTube. And Ben Shapiro would say something very similar or even the same thing. And his stayed. And I remember going... How is this possible? Is there some kind of behind the scenes thing? You know, f there's been complaints about favoritism at YouTube for a while. And so I'm like, is that what's going on? I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not making the accusation. I'm just throwing out a possibility based on some facts I've seen. That's what I'm saying there. Um, but I do know I kind of got tired of the Daily Wire stuff, and I noticed that the Daily Wire was being promoted a whole lot more than others. And I wound up just turning off my recommend recommendations and tracking on YouTube. So I just see random stuff, you know, in, in my recommend feed now. And a lot of times I don't go look at any of it because I don't really care. But, you know, there's that. So I know Steven Crowder has accused uh, Daily Wire of, you know, part of the big con is that they have this big tech connection and the they're kind of alternative uh what is it alternative thought alternative the, the the kind of the kind of the the opposite but but not they don't let them go too far it's like you can sit there and uh, criticize this to this point and that's where you gotta stop so then they they don't really they're not really as creative, in my opinion. You know, I said, Steven Crowder's very creative. I'll give him that. I do wish he wouldn't swear so much. Um, I don't think I've heard a lot of swearing from Daily Wire people. People, I know they have like Jordan Peterson on there. Um, 
I wonder how his contract is going since he's had different boycotts and people coming after him. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious where that where that goes. Um, of course, I probably will never find out, but uh, it, it would be interesting if we ever, if that ever gets released publicly or um, if Jordan Peterson at some point leaves the Daily Wire and, and talks about stuff afterwards and, and, and gives some insight. Um, that would be very, very fascinating. So... That's my thoughts on the Steven Crowder versus Daily Wire. Court adjourns.